is Grind on Corner Cafe, and we have Kale Knight with the band Love Like Gravity on the phone. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, how are you? <laughs> we are good. We are good. Good to hear from you. Awesome. Yeah, and this yeah. is your first time Thanks on Corner Cafe. You. Yeah, and we're excited to have you. The first um, of many, of course. Yeah, yes, the so first good. of many. We like to invite our guests back for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> and you're in studio, so um, you do uh, producing for the band and all that. And what else? What are all your roles? Because I know you wear different hats with the band. Um, I'm the primary songwriter. Um, we all write, um, but I was, I guess, the guy who kind of got it all started. And uh, so I, I write, I play guitar, and uh, I do. Uh, well, this, this new record is the first one that I actually produce uh, fully you know, with the guys in the band. Nice. Wow. Yeah, that is great. Um, so you guys um, have a, a new um, new music out right now. And um, did you guys take a break? And if so, what was the, the cause of the break? Or, you know, and now you guys are up and rolling again. And that must be exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Um, so we started uh, probably somewhere around 2008, 2009. And I uh, did a couple of records, toured, and um, you know how it is, life just keeps busy. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Busy. And, you know, uh, a couple of guys went on to be, one, uh, our original lead singer actually went on to be uh, head pastor at Church in Florida. Oh, oh. nice. Very nice. So it, it, made it, it made it very difficult to tour, and, and so we ended up, uh, I think 2015 was our last uh, record that we did. So we took some time off. Uh, me and a couple of the other guys did other projects. We were uh, working with some other artists and uh, doing kind of a co-write thing, a producing thing, uh, just some little pet projects. And sometime, I guess it would have been about the end of, it had to be the end of 2020. Um, we just started kind of throwing around some songs and said, hey, this, this sounds like, you know, some very inspired material that, that kind of harkens back to our first record. And so we just started writing, and before we knew it, we had a full, uh, full CD. Wow! Wow, that's very yeah. nice. So um, you said in uh, 2020. So that's kind of you know we were all kind of locked away, if you will. Did that help to spark the songwriting and kind of get you guys maybe more focused because we couldn't mm -hmm. do so much? Right. Yeah. And there was a lot of things. Obviously, a lot of things going on uh, in the world in our culture. Yeah. Our yeah. Definitely. That, uh, just kind of started, you know, it was kind of rattling around under the surface and then just started finding its way out. And so we had a lot of content to pull from. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. know that's, I mean, you could write like, uh, for what we had gone through in the last, I guess, even just six months, you can write like 15 albums <laughs> <True>. <laughs> out of all just there's, six there's, months. There's, yeah. There, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of personal things going on, I think, to, to pull from for sure for everybody. Right. That is so true. And people need to hear about um, the Lord, and yeah. we need to be sharing the gospel. I know you guys um, have a huge heart for sharing the gospel, typically at a concert or when you guys are out and about. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? How do you guys um, open the crowd up? Because sometimes, you know, you need, even in Christian settings or if you're even in a bar, you know, um, how do you guys usually interact with the audience and um, get your message out? Well, typically we always approach uh, the live show from kind of a music first standpoint because in a lot of places that we went into especially early on nobody knew, you know we, we weren't known mm -hmm. and so uh, you know as we started to get some radio exposure that began to change you know it began to change but uh, we would go in kind of and let the music kind of speak for itself for the first couple of songs and then as people begin to relax and you kind of you can kind of start to ask a little bit more yeah. of your mm -hmm. audience. You can start to share a little bit. Uh, it typically started with, you know, maybe sharing some personal stories. Um, about midway through, we always try to do something kind of fun, you know, to kind of engage the audience and, and get maybe uh, drop the guard a little bit. And then we always tended to follow up toward maybe three quarters of the way through our concert with uh, sharing the gospel in some shape and fashion. 
Love Very that. nice. Now, Kel, let me ask you, what do you feel like the mood is like? I mean, because I know you've been doing music for quite some time, you and the band, and you've certainly worked with many, many others. What I mean, I, you've got to feel that the mood is different when you go out and uh, do shows uh, in churches or uh, outside venues. And I'm not talking like weather or anything. I'm talking about the mood or with the spirit of the people. Uh, do you feel like it's a more heavy labored or do you feel like they're more receptive based upon what we've been going through for the last, I guess, gosh, uh, year and a half, two years? Uh, or what's your feel about that? Or what do, or do you, you guys talk about that, those kinds of things or prepare differently? Yeah, well, it hasn't happened so much for us lately because uh, we haven't been able to tour since the, the new record. We spent nine months, uh, you know, kind of in the studio mm -hmm. uh, writing and recording. So we actually have not, we've not been on stage yet to do that. Now, I can speak to that a little bit more personally, having been in uh, venues and stuff like that with other artists. Um, and it, it is, there is a difference. And, and depending on where you are, there's a different uh, mood or environment, I guess you would, you would say, mm -hmm. uh, from place to place. Some place it is a heavier, um, almost war-torn kind of feeling oh, wow. um, mm -hmm. in the congregation. And then in other places, there's um, a kind of a, a, a refreshed, renewed, um, I don't know, maybe it seems like they take the moments that we have now to enjoy certain things that we're starting to enjoy again, um, they mean more. Right. Mm -hmm. and, right. and there's a bit of a, a revitalization there. Yeah. So I, I, I've seen both sides of it, I guess. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I kind of see it as you know, you guys are kind of like in the cocoon, if you will, and then soon you're going to be able to go out and, and share yeah. um, from your own personal experience, uh, from your how you were before, and now how you are now mm -hmm. in your walk with the Lord or just personal stuff, how do you feel mm -hmm. like you've matured in this season? And then when you guys go tour again, what do you feel most excited to share? Um, well, it's interesting because we definitely matured um, in our personal faith. Um, I think just because of the, the stuff that we all face uh, from day to day and not just uh, what we face you know, in society over the, I mean, in our personal, in our families, in our personal lives, struggling right. with the habits, whatever. Um, we learn new lessons all the time. And I, and I think um, there's definitely, um, I know for me personally, and even with this record, there's more of a focus, I think. Um, not that there wasn't one in the beginning, but there's more of a uh, an earnest focus on the gospel. And right. Sharing the gospel mm -hmm. the than maybe there was on your, you know, on our first album. Right. It was, it was a thing, and it was definitely something we were intentional about. But I don't, I think we're more intentional now than we ever have. Been. Yeah. And uh, to the other side of that, musically, I think we've also just learned through the seasons of being in and out of the studio, things matter and what things don't matter. Right. Uh, kind of let go of some of those inhibitions that maybe you had. Right. You know, on the first <laughs> record, where you're kind of afraid to to mess it up or do something, and you just, you kind of let loose. Right. Let it happen. Yeah. I mean, Kill, that has got to be really a, I mean, for the lack of a better word, a dis, dissatisfying or, you know, a distracting a uh, position to be in to create and complete an, an out al a complete an album entire album and not be able to promote get out there and tour uh, i mean because it's like it's like as as artists we're like as soon as we record something it's like fresh off the griddle well we want people to hear it all oh, you discuss it's going to minister it's going to we believe it's going to affect lives and then all of a sudden you you know you're going from like zero to a hundred uh on down the road fast and all of a sudden you know uh you find out the bridge is out kind of concept and then you was like we there we can't get to the other side we have to wait till they fix the bridge mm -hmm. so yeah, what what does that feel like mm -hmm. go ahead i'm sorry well it, it is it's it no it's frustrating i mean for sure because you, you pour your heart and soul into something that you want to share and, mm -hmm. and you can share it uh through internet and social media and everything uh, right. nowadays but there's there's uh there's a real humanness and sense of community when you can do that in person yeah yeah and mm -hmm. uh it does leave a vacancy um you know when you pour that much time into um 
with something like a new album that it, you feel like definitely says something and definitely means something to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you kind of want to go out and share that uh, in the community with the people. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully we're going to get to do that really soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It mm-hmm. looks like things are. Um, we're, 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 we're looking at opportunities. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's exciting. And hopefully, Very yeah, nice we're all praying now. that let's get, let's, um, I, you know, just with the, um, oh, there Jamie went. Yeah. He went off with the phone. But I, ca- I caught me. Yeah, he caught. So we're doing video, too, just for <laughs> our listeners, because this is going to air in radio, of there course. But in the, in the post, we're going to be doing video. So you can see Kale, Kale's cool studio right there, too, and see his um, friendly yeah. face. But, um, yeah, so we're all praying just to kind of, quote, unquote, if we can get back to some sort of normal. Yeah, definitely. But I, like you said, even Jamie and I with Corner Cafe, we have an urgency to share the gospel. And that's mm-hmm. what it's all about, because we feel that the time Timing yeah. is short, so let's get busy doing our thing, and we're going to be praying for you guys so you guys can get busy doing your thing and Absolutely. doing your live concerts, and um, we'll have you back on the Corner Cafe as you do new music, and uh, please yeah. just keep in touch with us, okay, Kale? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It was great to have you. Oh, Love absolutely. your music yes. and your guys' heart. And we'll definitely stay in touch. And that was Kale Knight. And we're going to be in touch. We're going to go to a break, though. Stay tuned. <laughs> 